वॉट प्रियम्बल एक्चुअली इज ठीक है चल सो लेट्स एड्रेस दिस आस्पेक्ट फर्स्ट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दैट वॉट प्रियम्बल इज बेसिकली प्रियम्बल is an introduction preamble is basically an introduction the very next thing which your mind should ask you sir introduction to what and hence put a star mark and write which you need to understand that it is an introduction to any char var underline kar lo any law or statute any law or statute preamble is basically an introduction to any law or statute so now what you can derive from this that it is not necessary right it is not necessary that only the constitutions have a preamble any law any statute can have a preamble sir theek hai very next question should be that sir okay you said any law or any statute can have a preamble and it is basically an introduction but what is the purpose sir does it solve why do we inculcate preamble <coughs> pardon what purpose does it solve so when we talk about that what is the purpose of preamble so basically what happens i told you to read article number 61 article number 249 and article number 312 from the bear act that is your pm bakshi did you read those three <clears throat> articles of the indian constitution were explained to you by me in a very simplistic language right article 61 has to talk about the impeachment of the president Article two forty nine says, sir, if Rajya Sabha feels that in the national interest the Parliament needs to make some laws on the state list, Rajya Sabha can empower the Parliament to do so. Right. But now let's move on to the original words of Article two forty nine. So what happens is the law basically is framed by legal luminaries, sir. the law is framed by legal luminaries and you will surprise to know that whenever you pursue your <coughs> graduation or post graduation with respect to this background or the legal background or the law there you have a separate semester for legal terminologies right so law which has been framed by the legal luminaries contains very 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 technical words which might not be possible for a common man of the nation to understand and hence to give common man of the nation the knack what constitution has to say we introduce the preamble to the constitution or we introduce the preamble to any legal law any statute etc theek hai samajh mein aaya because law contains legal technical language which is not possible for everyone to understand and hence we require the preamble theek hai ji chal then now if your let's say <clears throat> this is your constitution of india this is let's say the original book theek hai in that original book the people of the constituent assembly attached the preamble here Let's say this is a preamble. Now, let's say there was this constitution before when this preamble was not inculcated, or if let's say the preamble is not inculcated by the constituent assembly. Let's imagine it. 
Now, if the preamble, in the case the preamble has not been inculcated, will the status of the Indian constitution will get affected in any way? Or, the constituent assembly people inculcated preamble to the Indian constitution. And today, let's imagine that the parliament removes this preamble. So, after we remove the preamble, will it impact the status of the Indian constitution in any way? These are the two potential questions. And the answer to both of these questions is a big no. Right? So, even if the preamble is attached to the constitution, or it was attached once and now we are going to remove it, in no way it will impact the status of any law, any statute or the constitution. Okay, let's write it down. Preamble, preamble is attached to law. Preamble is attached to any law. or statute or statute as a preface or an introduction as a preface or an introduction full stop at the next line it is attached it is attached because <clears throat> it is attached because law is written law is written in a te technical form or language, in a technical form or language. Hence, it may not be possible, hence, it may not be possible for a common citizen, for a common citizen to make sense to make sense of the provisions of the law of the provisions of the law or constitution or constitution hence full stop hence it is attached it is attached to explain the to explain the aim aim and purpose of the particular law and purpose of the particular law full stop write our next line even if removed even if removed or attached or attached with any law even if removed from any law or attached with any law, it does not impact, it does not impact the status of the law, it does not impact the status of the law, full stop. Right, and next line, <coughs> it is not, it is not necessarily, necessarily a part of the law. It is not necessarily a part of the law. That means that even if the constitution of India has to exist or let's imagine that today the constituent assembly of any country has been made to make the constitution. Is it that without including a preamble to it, they cannot make a constitution? The answer is no. Okay? The answer is no. So, right, it is not necessarily a part of a law or let's say ministry of environment is bringing any new law right and does not attach preamble to that law so that law will not be passed the answer is no okay so it is not necessarily a part of the law full stop right our next line it is also not necessary it is also not necessary that only the constitutions that 
only the constitutions will have preamble will have preamble right and comma they can or preamble can be an introduction or preface be an introduction or preface to any law or statute to any law or statute clear chal let's move ahead now and deal with the sources versus content of preamble right so sources when we talk about this particular keyword this means from where did we got an inspiration to adopt or to give our constitution a preamble what was the inspiration in the mind of the constitution makers or whose example did they follow right and 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 jaise last class mein we did that the pal one of the reasons we adopted for the parliamentary form of government was familiarity aspect and that familiarity was that the government of india act 1919 introduced parliamentary form of government into india so that is considered as a one of the sources of parliamentary form also or the original source to be britain right from whom did we take the westminster form of government right now from what was then the source of the preamble to the indian constitution versus what is the source of the content of the preamble so this what i wanted to tell you is that you need to maintain a clear difference with respect to both of this if we talk about the source of preamble that is something else if we talk about the source of the content whichever is mentioned in the preamble that is something else sir that is something else now we'll discuss this aspect in detail this aspect i'll just be mentioning because the history teacher would be covering it in detail right so if we talk about the source of the content of the preamble so that was basically from this doc called as objectives resolution sir objectives resolution what was that so objectives resolution before independence was a document that basically was a resolution of the indians with respect to the objectives they had in mind that this will be our india when we get independence so they had a resolution jaise aap log new year ki resolutions lete ho na in the similar way when we were striving for independence so our freedom fighters had a resolution in their minds with respect to the objectives which they felt that these would be the objectives of the indian state once we get independence and that are mentioned or, or, or you can call the preamble is a refined version of this document itself now what were the documents what who who launched it who proposed it in the let's say 9th of january ko kisne isko परपोज करा था इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली वेन इट इट गॉट पास एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ऑल दीज विल बी डेल्ट इन द हिस्ट्री क्लास ठीक है अभी बस याद रखो द सोर्स ऑफ द कंटेंट ऑफ द प्रियम्बल वट एवर इज रिटर्न वी आर गोइंग टू रीड इज फ्रॉम ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन वर्सेज अपॉलॉजीज ठीक है तो we have to understand that this objectives resolution was something which was introduced on 22nd of december 1946 even before india got independence by pandit jawaharlal nehru and it got passed on 9th of january and that became the basis to define then the nature and the ideals of the indian state which we are going to have post independence theek hai now if we talk about this aspect that from where did we adopted what was the inspiration in the minds 
ठीक है सबसे पहले तो वील हैव एन इंस्पिरेशन दैट वी वांट समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ प्रीएम्बल फिर ही सोचेंगे ना दैट व्हाट वी ऑल वी हैव टू इनकलकेट इनटू इट राइट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द सोर्स ऑफ प्रीएम्बल सो व्हाट हैपेंड वाज यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अ बैकग्राउंड स्टोरी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इट ऑल लेट्स राइट इट हियर चल सो वॉट हैपन वर्स इन द हिस्टोरिकल आस्पेक्ट सो द फर्स्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड विच मेड अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉर इट सेल्फ और इफ आई पुट इट इन अदर वर्ड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका वॉज द कंट्री टू हैव अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फॉर इट सेल्फ एट द टाइम वेन नो अदर कंट्री इन दिस वर्ल्ड हैड अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन राइट so context is that the first ever constitution any country which had was united states of america and while they had a constitution made for themselves they also added a something similar introduction to the constitution at as well and they called that introduction as a preamble and they called that introduction as a preamble so now we got an inspiration that we want to have a written constitution for ourselves because in first class what we did every country has a constitution every country irrespective of the fact it is dictatorship monarchy whatever it is democracy whatever it is it will must have a constitution the only thing which is going to make a difference that it is written or unwritten is a matter of fact so united states of america was the first country to have a written constitution for itself now we were following their practice to have a written constitution in india right because who were ruling us that country was britain but it had an unwritten constitution so we were following the practice of united states of america now by the virtue of united states of america being the first country in the entire world to have a constitution for itself and then also introducing a preamble then also introducing a preamble became an inspiration for our constituent assembly makers to inculcate a preamble to the indian constitution as well right and you will be surprised that in 1945 there was a preamble which was attached to the un charter as well the united nations aapne suna hoga right after world war 2 it it came into existence united nations so united nations had its charter charter means basically an act or a law so united nations when it had a charter or when it had a charter it also got something called as preamble attached to it and the source or inspiration for attaching that preamble was the constitution of united states we got inspired from the preamble which was attached to the united nations charter which was itself inspired from united states of america's constitution hence because of these two factors the source of the indian preamble is the united states of america's constitution is the united states of america's constitution write it down history of preamble write down history of preamble as a whole as a whole and then write in first point the written constitution the written constitution was an us innovation was an us innovation full stop right on next point when the us constitution was made when the us constitution was made it was the time it was the time no other country in the world no other country in the world had its constitution had its constitution full stop third point number third the us wrote an introduction like a preamble the us wrote a introduction like a preamble and called it preamble as well and called it preamble as well which set which set the tone for the world or tone for the entire world for having a preamble for having a preamble then make second subheading history of indian preamble history of indian preamble 
the indian preamble was adopted the indian preamble was adopted or the source of indian preamble was i just simply write indian preamble was adopted from the preamble to un charter from the preamble to un charter comma comma which was itself adopted which was itself adopted from the constitution of united states of america from the constitution of united states of america full stop hence hence our preamble our preamble was adopted from the hence our preamble was adopted from the constitution of usa sure then right uh, next point with respect to the content of the preamble with respect to the content of the preamble it is said that it is said that the nature comma the ideals for the indian state for the indian state that are there in the preamble that are there in the preamble have been inspired from have been inspired from objectives resolution objectives resolution full stop ठीक है चल एंड कीप इन माइंड दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन वाज पास्ड बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली इवन बिफोर इंडिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस वी गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस इन द मंथ ऑफ अगस्त 1947 एंड दिस वाज पास्ड ऑन 9th ऑफ जनवरी ऑफ दैट सेम ईयर ठीक है चल देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज ऑफन सेड द इंडियन सॉरी प्रीएम्बल इट इज ऑफन सेड दैट इंडियन प्रीएम्बल इज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट वर्डेड प्रीएम्बल इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड ठीक है सो this content holds that relevance and to support my this argument we'll quote here the famous political scientist which we mentioned in the beginning sir ernest barker right sir ernest barker so what happened so this this fellow is a huge name in the field of political science the political science psir optional students might uh, must know him ha huh? so what happened in the August I guess yeah to be very precise in the August of 1950 he end up writing this very famous book that was the social political theory right the principles of social political theory so in the August of 1950 basically he he was done doing this and in the initial months that is January or February of 1951 this book was published right and when this book was published just after the index the page which comes via which he starts his book you know what is mentioned over there he mentions indian preamble over there so his book that is the principles of social political theory this is a renowned name if i tell you about him he was a person who was in oxford then he even went to kings college london after kings college london he also spent some time in london school of economics and then finally he served as a professor in the cambridge so this was the stature of that person and he was a very respected person in political science fraternity that person wrote his book in 1951 right and in the beginning of this book that person is mentioning the preamble to the indian constitution and he tells why why is he mentioning he says that i want that this preamble should act as an example for the entire world so this is what we mean when we say that indian preamble is one of the finest worded preambles in the world theek hai chalo